Hello. Howdy, y'all. We finally made it out of Arkansas. <laughs> and it's still cold. It is. It got so cold here last night. I, I mean, this is probably the coldest we ever slept in. It was very cold. No, 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 But no. we were warm, but it was so cold I had to wear thermals and this and my sweatpants over my thermals, thermals in my 30 degree sleeping bag. It's a down sleeping bag. Yes, I'm telling you, that's how cold it was. So cold that there's still frost on the ground in areas that the sun has not touched yet. But this ain't the coldest we've ever slept in. I think it is. No, 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 no. <laughs> I think it is. No, the coldest we've ever slept in, the coldest we've ever slept in was whenever there was actually ice forming on a creek out in the Washington. We did not sleep. Mm -hmm. We did not camp that it night. It sleeted we on the, the tent. Day. It sleeted on the tent. It would have sleeted here if it would have had some mm -hmm. moisture. If it was mm -hmm. precipitation, there would have been snow. Mm -hmm. I don't agree. I'm, I'm telling but you. But it, it is really cold. I don't even know where we're at, by the way. Yeah. Honey, where are we? Because I don't know where we're at. I just well, woke up this we morning. We are right here. in a general area. We are in Texas Hill Country. Um, and there's going to be a lot to do. So we're going to be here and we're going to do everything we can do. There's just a lot to see. We've never been in this area before. But it's very sunny and we are not used to the sun anymore. Like it is really bright. So we're going to put the round rack up. Well, looks like the only shade we got is over here. But as the sun moves in the meantime, it'll be fine. So this morning for breakfast, I am making a uh, French toast and it's gonna be delicious. First off, you do know it's a good camping area when Kelly gets to be close to her cactus, right babe? Oh yeah. And look at all these cactus, y'all. Cactus. That one right here has a one of those pieces that people could actually eat if they wanted to. Never done it before, I need to try it. But we are at a campground that when you come out here, you pay the gentleman up front $10 per person per night, and you just come out on his 150 acres of property and you just find a place to camp. So there's other people scattered on out here. Yeah, and if you can see, there's a spot there, there's a picnic table, and then there's a spot over there with a picnic table. And there's one over there. So you just find a spot with a, a fire ring and a picnic table and you just set up. So it's really pretty cool. I, I like that. Mm -hmm. It's better than your traditional campground because we're really spaced out from our neighbors. So we like that. So we just rolled into town last night. And so today is going to be kind of our errand day. When we got here, it was completely dark. So we couldn't really see anything. And we've got to stock up on groceries. And there's a couple of things that we need for our camp that we have not acquired yet. So we need to go do that. And if you're wondering how do we find out where we're going to go when we go to a new region, the whole time I'm driving, Kelly's using Google Maps and doing research on grocery stores and she reads the reviews to see what kind of products they have. Uh, she also will look at Walmarts. For example, we need a canopy. Uh, Which we've already been to like several Walmarts and they only have the slant leg canopy. Well, we need the straight leg canopy because we already bought the walls and we're kind of wishing we had it right now because it is very, it's, the wind just decided to pick up. So it's pretty chilly now. And the reason for the straight legs is you can't put those canopy walls on an angle leg since they kind of 
protrude out and it's not it's a 10 by 10 wall and it's difficult to put it on an angle leg that's the reason we want the straight legs to block wind and it works out really nice in areas like this last year when we were in tucson arizona that's when we learned the importance of walls yeah that was it was cold and windy and the walls really help it really does another thing i was going to add about walmarts is that whenever she does Walmarts. I was trying to be plural, like include all oh, okay. Walmart locations, but Walmart <laughs> is she'll start researching is there a product we need? So she'll go through a region and find out there's a product we need in a region. And she found a canopy that we need only at one Walmart location. So we'll head to that region and there's a grocery store there that you want to go to too? Or are we going oh, I don't somewhere know. else? I don't know. I need to look up that. I didn't look up the Walmarts. I'm sure there's one around here somewhere. So actually, I looked up the Walmart, but not the grocery store. So yeah. Because you want to know what she really did the whole time we drove? She closed her eyes and slept 90% of the time. She was tired. She needed her beauty rest. Kelly got done with the uh, French toast, but I wasn't recording her because we had this one wall that came with a trailer. We've never had the wall before with the bat wing awning the rhino rack bat wing awning so i wanted to put it up for the first time i had no clue what i was doing it's a lot easier than i thought just one zipper at the top it's just one wall but you can buy multiple walls and zip them together right here to the next wall and create a whole entire windshield we might end up doing that because uh right now it's really warm and toasty right here because the sun is heating up this and think that our new counter might put a hole in that but well we'll figure something out we'll probably have to close that if we go that route yeah so as we're sitting here after we ate breakfast i'd usually do my uh grocery list on the notes section of my iphone and i just sat there and i was like you know what do you want to cook what, what would you like to eat? And remember, this is stuff for later on in the week. We would ask y'all, but we wouldn't get y'all's message till yeah. later. Any other things we need? Um, I just realized I have a whole another tube of toothpaste, so we don't need toothpaste. No toothpaste. Uh, and I do have my leftovers from, if you watched the last vlog, the breakfast burrito, so I can make that one morning. Breakfast burritos, it's one breakfast out of the way. Okay. All right. What else would you like? Biscuits and gravy. Well, no, 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 no. So that, that and the the other stuff is going to have to be made on a day where That's what I we're realized. not leaving early. So after this vlog, we're doing a lot of activities. We're going to go exploring a lot of stuff. So we need to make breakfasts that are quick and simple. Mm -hmm. And that would take too long. You're right. Mm -hmm. And something that's hearty. I can hearty. do that on one of the days that... So it is cold here now, but it's supposed to warm up later on in the week. So when it does warm up, it is easier to get out of bed at a decent hour in the morning and it's just quicker to do things to cook outside you I mean you know you know how it is when it's cold you're just like stoved up um yeah usually in the summer whenever it's like you know uh 68 70 in the morning we can get up about 7 30. well even if it's 50 seven. something in the morning yeah. it's way easier to get up than 20. yeah <laughs> 20 cert. so by the way we're really digging this wall and uh we don't know how much they are we might uh, I need to look that up might get some more of these hey can you order some more of that tape i already have some I already ordered it. oh see reason why is i'm sitting here looking and you remember when we were uh, fixed that last bat wing awning we're already getting a little bit of a hole right here from the legs what about gnocchi with the veggies i haven't made that in a while so we need our veggies yeah i've been eating a lot of just pure meat and stuff meat and bread bread a lot of bread so gnocchi with what is that a potato yeah gnocchi's a potato so yeah let's do gnocchi with vegetables mm. that sounds good mm, if i can find some good chicken that um chicken dish would be good with that i made <clears throat> <gasps> the one that they haven't seen with the tomatoes yes oh oh oh, oh yes please man good if she does a chicken dish with some tomatoes mm. I still haven't completed that grocery list. Took a break because I'm, you know, trying to think of what I want to cook. But we do not have unlimited water source right now. And the easiest way that we do dishes when we do not have an unlimited water source is this blue jug here. So this is a six or seven gallon jug. I like this one because I can 
turn the nozzle here and it helps with the flow create either turn it off or turn it on Cody doesn't have to hold it and pour it over for me this is pretty much all the dishes we used so it's not a very hard cleanup to get the crud off of it I use baby wipes and I'll use that as my rag because I can just throw it away and I'll use a little bit of water with that as well so now that all the crud is cleaned off of them I'm just gonna use some soap and water to clean them all up so just to not waste water all I do is get my rag wet this campground does have a water two water spigots up front so if we do need to refill any water we can but with the trailer we already have it set up we're just gonna kind of basically use that as drinking water hopefully it didn't freeze and we don't have to use the trailer for showering because there is a shower on the premises yes they do have a bathhouse up front so that's all I'm gonna do I'm just gonna I soaked everything I'm gonna wipe it set it down here and then once everything is soaked I can rinse it off so while Kelly finishes this we've noticed that the wind is picking up around here we don't know how strong the wind will get so I have a feeling that I need to get cordage on the tent when we were in Glacier National Park not Glacier National Park we are near it at Glacier Meadows Park it was a big field like this and there was a lot of wind and we came back and half this big tent had been collapsed from the wind so I need to get the cordage up because you forgot about that I'm surprised it didn't break it yeah <laughs> I thought it was broken I thought the poles got broken it, it kind of freaked me out because half of the poles they do a dome shape at the top hence dome life you like that I know I threw that in there but the dome shape at the top collapsed in on one side the other side was okay but the poles did a c or a s shape and i thought it was going to crack in the center and poles cracking makes it very difficult to hold support afterwards jonathan had one crack and it was kind of entertaining to watch him try to get his his uh tent he up. still uses that tent pole doesn't he I mean, no he finally got a new tent pole We're taking a little midday siesta. <laughs> We're just in the tent because it's really warm and it blocks the wind. So uh, we've got blue cheeseburgers, vegetable gnocchi, rice and chicken, and parmesan polenta. So mm. what would you like for breakfast? I don't have any breakfast except for the burritos. And I'll get our waffles. I already did French toast. Pancakes. Mm. Breakfast sliders. Mm, that's always good. Breakfast sliders. Yeah. <sighs> what else? Scones take too long. Cinnamon rolls. Oh, that's easy. Boom. Drop the mic. Let's hit the road. Let's go. looks like they did not have the other thing we were looking for I don't know if we mentioned but last night it was like we said super cold and our buddy heater will not work it does not work anymore we tried for a solid 30 minutes it would not come on so we need a new buddy heater and Walmart did not have any so but we're okay it's gonna warm up going but here tonight's not gonna be good we can survive we can't find one i don't think we're gonna find one here I, I just saw them all over before we came here and needed one well here's the other kicker we've been we've looked for that same canopy all over and we couldn't find it either but we could here. still check ace hardware tractor supply all right so i guess the plan is we're going to do you want to stop at ace hardware if you think we can't survive see? the nut we'll go to ace hardware okay so and then we have to go to still go to the grocery store which the grocery store i want to go to is one i've never been to it's called h-e-b i don't know what it stands for looked it up and it seems like it's a pretty general good grocery store that has a mix of organic items and your normal stuff 
So I think we're going to check that out. It is H-E-B. I guess that's how you say it. So. But first Ace Hardware? Yeah, I think we're going to pass Ace Hardware first. All right. Because we're going back the way that we came. Let's go see if they have any Mr. Buddy heaters. No luck. No Buddy heaters here. So I guess we'll just go on to the grocery store. Okay, we just found a food truck in the parking lot for mini donuts and iced coffee. So we have to go check it out. Oh, they smell so good. Hello. Hello. Look at that. Look at that. Is that not looking good? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now we can go to the grocery store and not be hungry. It was very nice. Those are some of the tasks that we normally do that we don't share with y'all in the process that we go through of uh, going grocery shopping, finding grocery stores, and other things we need. But one question we get a lot is how does Kelly determine how long we need to get groceries for? Two things, one I do know, our refrigerator, we can only get what we can hold in that refrigerator. What's the other, babe? I usually only get enough groceries for a week, usually because I can't think of what I want to cook for the following week. So I usually do about five days of grocery shopping. Something else that we haven't gone into detail with you about is how we store our groceries. We have kind of a process I'll let Kelly tell you. This is my pantry. I'm going to call it that. I put all of my dry goods in here. And any spices. Now, since I'm having to build back up from the bottom up, any spices that I have, I'm putting here. Um, right now, I don't have much in here. I've got teas, collagen, um, baking powder, any kind of spice. Trash bags here at the bottom, Ziploc bags. And of course, any um, refrigerated stuff can go in here and frozen. We like to keep this set at 32 degrees. So in here can also hold frozen waffles. It can hold eggs, um, butter, cheese, anything you'd put in your refrigerator. I got some heavy cream in there. And the way she does this is that over here is usually cheeses, vegetables that need to be chilled. Go right here in this section. Cheeses. And then in the center will be, you know, a little bit more cooler items. And when we start getting over here, we learned with this, this unit, we like to put more frozen products or meats on the far left side. They do have a Dometic refrigerator slash freezer, uh, but this is what the trailer came with. And we personally don't really need a freezer. We've, we've been doing just fine with this, I'd have to say. Wouldn't you, babe? Uh, yeah, it's worked out really great. Like you said, I don't feel like that we need a freezer refrigerator combo. It seems to work out really good for us. And now, for the moment we've been waiting for, it's been way too long. It's time. <laughs>
It feels so good to get a workout in. It's been way too long, but we have to give a shout out to Flybird for sending us this weight bench. This is the exact weight bench that we had prior, and they reached out to us and said, you know, we want to supply you with your new workout bench, and we are so grateful. It is the best workout bench we've had. It is very cushiony. It folds up flat, easy to store, and it's affordable. So for the price, it's just a really good all-around bench. And the reason we chose it is it's heavy duty and it folds like Kelly said, and it goes incline and decline. So if we need to do decline workouts, it goes all the way down like that to where you can pull the uh, rear end up here to right there and you can do in decline workouts. Of course, you got your flat bench workout. If I can get it. Multiple adjustments, but then flat bench. And then you also have other incline levels. There, there, and then it goes straight up as well. You can do that for shoulder presses. But this is the key, besides it being solid, good heavy duty, this is the key for all of it. The fact that it, pull this little pin out right here, fold it flat, put your pin back in, that folds, and bam. This fold, this is something we could not find anywhere, and we found it through Flybird. So Flybird, once again, thank you for sending this and resupplying it. It was in our trailer whenever our trailer got stolen, and we love working out this way. We truly hope you enjoyed this little inside of what we do on Basically about once a week we do the grocery shopping mm -hmm. and then we try to get a workout in whenever possible and today was a beautiful day so we decided to let's just get a workout in and we needed it. But we're gonna be here for a little bit longer so we will catch you on the other. See you next time.